Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now we all know that backing up is really important. It's probably the most important thing that you can do with your computer. And yet still a lot of people don't back up on a regular basis. Now we're going to be looking at a small little program from Oslogix called Bit Replica. Now it used to be a free program, but now they're charging 19 bucks for it. But it is a little gem. It really is for backing up the user profiles on computers. Now you can see here, um, it will back up all your data from uh, videos, music, um, all that good stuff, you know, on the computer, even your Outlook folder and stuff. So we're going to close this off and take a look at the program itself. It's a tiny little program. As you can see, it can update all your stuff to the cloud if, if that's what you want to do. Um, Sky drives and stuff like that, you can set it up to that. Or you can uh, back it up straight to a local drive or to, you know, you'd like your external drive or NAS drive or map network drive or thumb drive or anything like that okay which is what I'd advise you to do you never want to back up your stuff to the same computer that you're using okay so let's have a look at the import export and restore profiles from boxnet uh, box.net and also restore profiles from SkyDrive now we're going to be using this little tab here and going to click local backup to a, a disk drive now you've got some options here okay so you can quickly select the options that you want now you may be thinking there's not a lot inside here uh, but you this is because this is a virtual machine but yours will have a lot more uh, information here to back up and take a bit longer okay now you can also add more locations in to back up so if you've got other folders that are not in them locations that are in other locations you can back those up also okay and that's pretty straightforward to do you can back up your um, office uh, Outlook folder and stuff like that if you wish by putting that in the location there once you've done all that you can click next and now you have to put your destination in now we're going to be backing up to the desktop here which is not advisable uh, but this is just a tutorial just to show you how it how easy it is so we're going to browse to our desktop here but you really should as I said back up to one of your external devices so we're just going to type in backup here and you can see that's where it's going to be going now you can suggest a location best location and it will tell you here that you may have got it's been detected as one drive on this machine and this will give you a little inkling of not what not to do so you don't want to back up to this uh, uh, drive here at all really so next we're going to go next here now we've got the how bit which is how you want to back up so you've got your simple backup exact exact backup full backup incremental backup and differential backup simple backup is basically what it says underneath here copies files to the destination folder obsolete files will not be removed from the destination folder and then so on you can just remove obsolete files from the destination folder after it's copied to them and so on okay so you select which one you want and then go next now you've got you when you want to back up so this is a simple case of whether you want to do it manually hourly daily or weekly it's as simple as that click next advanced is your exclude file so you can exclude files from a particular backup if that's what do you want to do so you can put the ticks in here to exclude those areas next thing is uh, a bit further down we've got the advanced backup area here and this is the bit where it says verify your files after copying to that destination this is really important because this is going to let you know that if there's any uh, which it says here occurrence of any hardware failures or any uh, problems there okay and it lets you know that you've had a good verified backup there's also a programs area here as well run applications as you can see and this is basically uh, run run this program before the backup operation starts and so on and you can select that program okay click next and we're in the summary area and this is our profile name you can change your profile name if you wish and this is just going to give you the simple backup which, which is what we've selected the total size of the backup and also the backup to the location where it's going to uh, or the destination and also the schedule which is no and uh, the last run which has never been run before click finish and there it is sitting right there now because we've got it set to manual we can either click this little play button here or we can right click on this and you can duplicate this disable it delete it and uh, advance create a desktop shortcut or run a backup now if we run our backups here you'll see it will start to back up very simple 
Now obviously if you've got this set to automatically back up, it will do it automatically for you. And you should now see it's all been uh, protected and it's got 110 megabytes backed up straight away. Okay. Now one rule of thumb here, if you had your uh, browser open, say for instance, and you're trying to back up your Google profile, what will happen is this, you're going to get a problem. You're going to get a red exclamation mark and then you can right click on this and view the log and it will tell you it couldn't back up that area because it's being used. Okay, So we can now clear our logs, close that off, close the browser off and then make sure before you do a backup everything's closed down and ready to go and you should be getting the green tick there. And that's it. Now if you look inside your backup folder this is where all your backup stuff is and if you've got Outlook and all that sort of stuff now Outlook sometimes Outlook files are in the my documents in the off, uh, Outlook 2013 and stuff like that but there's also other places that you could add into this backup as well okay so that's basically how you can back up your stuff now if I close this off and go or go back to the home button you'll see here run all backups and you can also restore your backups import and export as well okay so that's basically how you can use OzLogic's uh, Bit Replica to back up your stuff. It's pretty straightforward and it's a real cheap uh, backup solution. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Okay. Now, if you've got any problems with your computers, then you can always head over to my forums and post on there, and we'll do our best to get those problems solved for you. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. So thanks again for watching. Bye for now.